All right, today's job, fitting some fancy calipers. So I've picked up some M Sport, no, M Performance. There's a difference. So these are M Sport, these are M Performance. These are off of the M140i. I'm not sure if they're off of the M240i. These ones are M3, M4, the big boys. And you can tell by the fact that these have a 340 on them, and then these have 370, 380 written on the back of them. So there is a slight difference, and you can see by the height, the distance from here, and how far the bolt bolts are away from the, the pad. I did a lot of looking around, and I eventually found a rotor that is going to work. Now this is off a HSV, it has needed a little bit of machining, but it, it does work. One of the biggest problems with rotors, or trying to find a rotor that's going to be suitable, is the stud pattern. Luckily, in Australia, we have Holden over here, so they are 5x120, same as BMW, easy enough to find. The next problem, and I'd say probably the most key, because it's not something that you can really modify, is the height. And the height is when sitting like this, from the bottom of the rotor to the top of the rotor. The ones off the M140i are a 75, 73, I reckon, height and I needed 20 mil less. So it's not like you can just machine 20 mil off the back of the rotor and then bolt it up. There'd be nothing left. Luckily, these are off of a HSV. They're a 53 height, but then the next issue was bore. So these are a 69 mil bore and I needed somewhere in the high 70s. Gotten that sorted and then the retaining screw, all a very easy fix. Now, I haven't bolted this up yet. Don't know if it's gonna work. I've got 18s that will hopefully clear all of the brake, but if it doesn't, I can always machine this down to 340 mil. It's currently 365, and then I can use the M140i caliper. I think that's enough information now. Let's just see if it works. I mean, if it, this, could be a fairly straightforward bolt-on brake upgrade. Now, it's overkill. I'm only putting an S50 in there. But if someone was doing an S65 or an S85, where they do need that extra braking capacity, this could be a bolt-on BMW upgrade. So, let's hope it goes together. had a hard time getting the knuckle onto the coilovers because I left all of the bolts that I needed at home. Ended up having to cut it up other bolts to make it kind of fit together, but boy was it painful. That is big. I think that might be too big. So we've gone from 260 single pot to 365 four pot which, I mean, it all bolts together. I mean, without the wheel, without the wheel arch, fender, yeah, sure it fits, but I don't know, let's see. We'll put the wheel on and see. Well, I, don't, I don't even know if my wheels are gonna clear these calipers. They're E90 wheels, so. I hope so, but we might be changing those over and getting the rotors machined to 340 just for a little bit more clearance. No. No, we don't clear. Dang it. 
doesn't clear. She don't move. All right, so, I mean, I guess that answers the question. We probably need to uh, move down to the 340. Howdy. Future Lewis here, I later realized that if you machine the rotor down to the 340, you'd lose too much face or width of the rotor and it would start to chatter on the inside. So I'm going to persist with trying to get a different set of 18s with a more favorable offset and have more brake clearance on the inside. So this is a M Performance G80 caliper, a HMV rotor, an E36 knuckle and then E36 coil over. It would work. <laughs>